Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Samantha, I'm a podcast manager and online entrepreneur. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a professional email signature. Now let's jump into my computer to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to ysam.com. This is the tool that we're going to be using to create our email signature. If you don't know how to get to this page, don't worry, I will share the link in the description box down below. Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to create an account with them. And for that, we are going to click where it says login, then create an account. And here you have two options. You can either sign up with your Google account or enter your name, your email, choose a password, and then click where it says sign up. Once you've done that, it'll take you straight to your account where we'll start creating your signature. Once in your account, this is the first page that you're going to see. However, we need to go to this one over here that it says a signature editor. This over here is an example of what our signature could look like. However, this is going to change as I start adding my details here. So I'm going to start by adding my name. Okay, now we're starting to notice some changes here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my photo. You can either upload your photo, a photo of your business, your logo, whatever it is, you can upload it here. So let's do that. And here we have a different options. We can either choose a file from our computer. We can paste a link from a website. We can either use Facebook or Instagram to upload the photo. However, for this, we would have to connect our white stamp account to either Facebook or Instagram, or we can also use our webcam to take a photo. In my case, I'm going to be uploading a photo from my computer. Once you've uploaded your photo, you can either crop it or move it around or adjust it however is most convenient for you. Once your photo is ready to go, you can just click where it says done. And now we can see our photo here in our signature. Okay, so what happens if you want to either rearrange or delete your details? All you have to do is go to these little dots over here and drag and drop depending on what you want to do. Now, if you want to add a field, you can just click here where it says add a field, find a label or create your own label and add your information. Okay, so next let's add our social icons. Let's go to where it says social. And here we have different options. Same as before, you can drag this around, uh, rearrange them or delete them. You can also add more icons. As we can see here, we have LinkedIn, we have Upwork, we have Etsy, if you have an Etsy store. We have so many different options here to choose from. But for now, what I'm going to do is, um, so I don't have a Pinterest account, so I'm just gonna get rid of that one. Um, I don't use Twitter. And so let's use these over here. Okay, great. Now we can see our social icons here. Now, next, let's go to look at the templates. Now, there's two different ways to use Ystamp. You can use a free account, which is what I'm showing you right now, or you can upgrade to a paid account. If you're using a free account, which to me is more than enough, you can choose from two different templates, either this one or this one over here. If you want to pay for the pro version, which is, let's look at how much it is. Let's just click where it says upgrade now. Okay, so it is $5.80 per month when you pay annually. So we're not gonna do that right now. I just wanted to show you, so I'm gonna exit out of here. And like I said, with the free version, you have access to these two templates. And if you want to pay for the pro version, you obviously have a lot more options. But like I said, I think this is more than enough. So next, I'm going to go to where it says design. And as we can see here, all of these features come with the pro version. So we're not going to touch that, but I still wanted to show you because there's different things that you can do. You can alter the fonts and colors. You can do different things to your images. You can add more social icons. Um, there's different things that you can do. So now we're going to go to your apps. So here I'm going to add a sign off. And here you have different options. You can either choose from one of these messages here. You can also add your name. You can also choose how you want the text to be. You can also animate it, but this is for pro version users only. You can play with the size and alignment. Um, what I'm going to do is I am going to just add kind regards and then I want it handwritten. 
Let's see. I think I like it medium and yeah, let's just throw it to the left. You can also customize it if you want to create your signature here or upload your file. Like I said, I'm just going to use this one over here and then save it. And we can see it here now. Now there's different things that you can do here. You can add a quote, you can add a disclaimer, you can um, add a video here. Um, one of the things that I use in my personal signature is this option here, the online scheduler. I'm going to show you real quick how it works. So YSAM has its own scheduling solution. However, I use Calendly, so I'm going to select this one. I already have a scheduling provider and all I have to do is paste my scheduler URL. Okay, so that's there. I can also change the text of my button. I can also change the type. Um, I can play with the size, the colors, the icons and the shapes. So let's see, I think I like that one. And then let's just use black and let's just this one. Let's see. Let's do blue. Okay. I think I like that one. So just add that one to our signature and here we go. It's right there. Okay. So once you're ready with your signature, all you have to do is click here where it says, okay, I'm done. And then choose which email provider you're going to be using this signature with. In this case, I'm going to use it with my Gmail account. So let's just hit continue. And then all you have to do is sign in with Google to your email account. Next, it's going to ask you to refresh your Gmail account. Okay, and that'll take you to your Gmail account. All you have to do is click where it says compose and you'll see your signature in your email. All you have to do is write your email, send it, and this will appear in every email that you send. Now, the cool thing about this is that you don't have to worry about typing your signature again or creating hyperlinks for your socials or anything like that. These are automatically hyperlinked and whoever receives your email will be directed to each of these sites whenever they click on them. Okay friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and also subscribe for future videos. That's it for today's video. I'll see you next time.